Hey there, Arelli here from withhisgifts.com. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. Today I have another video tutorial for you and we're going to be creating this lovely Mother's Day card. So let's get started. The stamp sets that we'll be using today are the Butterfly Basics, First Sight, and the Grateful Bunch. The ink pads that we're using today are the Blushing Bride, Sahara Sand, and the Crumb Cake. We'll also be using the Stampin' Right marker in the Blushing Bride and the Blender Pen. We'll also be using some clear embossing powder in my anti-static bag. I'm going to use my snail adhesive, a sponge, and then I'm going to be using my glossy accents. For embellishments, I'm using the linen thread, and then I'm going to use a flower that I made and I'll put a link down to the tutorial where I made this flower down below. For our paper I have a piece of the crumb cake cardstock cut at 11 by 4 and a quarter and it's scored at 5 and a half. For my first layer I have a piece of the blushing bride that is cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. Second layer is a piece of the watercolor paper cut at 4 by 2 and a half. And then then I just have a scratch piece of Whisper White Paper for my sentiment. And then I have a second piece of the Whisper White Paper cut at four by five and a quarter, and that is for the inside of the card. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to be using today is this, this homemade embossing folder. And I won't show you how I made it. Um, I got the idea watching a tutorial by Debbie Henderson. Um, and I can put a link down below. I will put a link down below to her video if you want to learn how to um, make your own embossing folders at home. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my embossing folder. And I'm going to need my Blushing Bride cardstock and my Blushing Bride um, ink pad. So what I'm going to do is open up my ink pad. And I am going to... First of all, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, so here's my embossing folder. And before we get started, let me just say that this is made out of cardboard, specifically the cardboard that comes um, in the package of the cardstock, the Stampin' Up! cardstock. So when you get your cardstock, it is packaged and there's a piece of cardboard in there. And that's all this is. And then I used a combination of um, dies to cut out my butterflies. Um, I used the bold butterfly framelits and the butterfly thinlets and it's just glued onto the cardboard and the, the butterflies are cut from the same cardboard. So again, um, Debbie Henderson's tutorial is awesome and we'll show you exactly how to create um, this and I'll link that down below. So embossing folder, um, blushing bright ink pad. I'm going to take my ink pad and I am going to rub it. Um, all over the front of my embossing well it's not really a folder is it it's just um, maybe I don't know embossing page um, but yeah that so we're going to put ink all over it just like so so the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and grab my sandwich components for my Big Shot and um, don't need the magnetic platform but it's um, less bulky than the one that came with the machine, so I like to use it. So anyways, so here's the platform. And then my um, clear acrylic plate, not so clear. I'll put down my embossing page folder. My Blushing Bride um, cardstock. I'm going to set it right on top. Um... Then I have another piece of cardboard, same cardboard. Um, I'm just going to put that on top here as a shim. And then um, my final, um, this is kind of warped, but it still works, but I really need to replace them. My final acrylic or clear plate on top. I'm gonna run that through my Big Shot and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my, um, top plate 
and go ahead and grab my lovely, lovely, how beautiful is that, um, layer for my card. And then we're going to set that aside because we will assemble that in a little bit, but set it aside for now, okay? The next thing that I want to grab is um, the piece of the watercolor paper. And then we are going to start um, stamping on this. And for that, I'm going to start with my, my Butterfly Basics. And we're going to use this stamp here, the fern. And we're stamping that in the Sahara sand. Okay. So I will go ahead and ink that up. Okay. So I'm going to put one right about here. And then without re-inking another one there. Re-ink, and then I'm going to come in right about here. Again, move it over a little bit like that. Then my final stamp would be right about there. And then a little to the side, just like that, okay? I'm going to go ahead, well, no, I still need, why am I putting you away? I still need you. So, um, still, in the Butterfly Basics, I'm using the, um, the flower here. And I'm going to ink her up in the Sahara, Sahara sand as well. And we won't be stamping the, the entire image. So, um, just right about, um, yeah, right about there. Okay, like that. I'm gonna go ahead, put some more of these flowers down about here. And it's okay if this isn't identical to the one um, that I've already created. Um, that's perfectly fine. Okay. So there's that. So then the next stamp is this little border here, also from the Butterfly Basics. And I'm going to ink that up. Yes, you guessed it, in the Sahara Sand. Okay, so there. And right about there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to grab is my marker and blender pen. And I'm going to go ahead and color my flowers. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... Um, you can see that the stamp has some suggested um, shadowing. I'm just going to follow those lines with my uh, marker and then um, blend it out with my blender pen. So I'm going to use the, the thick um, tip. And then I am going to, like I said, just kind of follow that suggested shadow that is on my petals of my flower, like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blender pen, and I will just kind of blend that out a little bit. And we're gonna do this twice, so I'm gonna go over this. And the watercolor paper kind of helps because um, if you just use regular cardstock, you're going to get um, some ripping and, and that's not good. So, so okay, I'm going to keep these both like this and I'm going to do one petal at a time. So, like that. Okay. Okay, and you're going to continue and you're going to follow. It's the same flower that we stamped. Um, so just follow that around and then blend it out. Like so. And we're going to keep doing that until we have done it. 
to all our flowers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in. Um, just stay close to the center with my second layer of my marker. Then I'm going to get my blender pen and go ahead and blend that out. So there's also... I'm confused. I want my marker, not my blender. <laughs> okay, so back over here, we're going to do the same thing and just add another layer on the center. And then we're going to pull that out with the blender pen. The same thing here. Pull that out. Okay. Now um, we're gonna. There's a couple on here that um, where the the petals are not open, but there is still um, that suggested shadow. So we're gonna continue to follow that and color that with the marker, and then blend it out with our blender pen. And then this one here. We will blend that out. And we're also going to do the second. And there's something right there. That, okay. right there okay so there's what our um, layer looks like so far um, these markers the Stampin Write markers are awesome and when you use them together with your blender tool um, it gives you an awesome effect and um, adult coloring books are all the rage um, it is very therapeutic um, so it's well worth um, adding these markers to your collection because you will get use out of them and you will get some relaxation um, as well because like I said it's very therapeutic I love to color um, and yeah so get you some okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off so that my border is right on the edge and I will be right back I'm gonna take this to my trimming um my paper trimmer Okay, so there it is cut down. It's right to the edge and I am going to go ahead and um, grab my crumb cake and my sponge and I will sponge my edges here and this is more so I mean I do like the distress look but this is more so because this is the watercolor paper and it's a little bit thicker. Um, and I just want to cover up the side. I don't want the white to to show. So that's what we're, that's what I'm basically doing. That's what my goal is. Um, the fact that it looks distressed is is a bonus. Okay, so, and while that's out, I'm going to go ahead and take my first layer and do the same. Now this is strictly for um, the distressed look. <laughs> Okay, go around the edges and distress this beautiful piece of paper. Okay, so those are the two pieces that I will need for my front. And I'm going to go ahead and set those aside real quick. I'm going to work on the inside of my card. Um, so here's my piece of Whisper White that's cut at four by five and a quarter. And I am going to go ahead and grab my um, Sahara Sand. And then I am going to my Butterfly Basics, my Fern. 
Um, I don't think that I showed you the inside of the card um, at the beginning, but that's what it looks like, so that's what we're going to do. Um, because the front of the card says mother, and then you are loved a lot on the inside. So it's a continuation. Okay. And where did my stamp go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to, again, my Sahara Sand and my Fern from the Butterfly Basic Stamp Set. I'm going to come in here, my corner, like so. Then opposite corner and do the same thing, like so. Okay, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and take my Butterfly from the Butterfly Basics, this teeny biter butterfly here and I'm going to ink that up in the Blushing Bride and I am going to put one right about there another one there like that and I'm going to take the postage stamp and I'm going to ink that up in the crumb cake And then put one right about there and there. All right, so now we're ready for the sentiment. And that is going to be stamped in the Blushing Bride. And this, or not the sentiment, but the greeting on the inside, um, we are going to use um, the Grateful Bunch. And I'm using this, Your Love, You Are Loved A Lot. And that's what we're using. So have it mounted and ready to go here. Okay, so let's ink her up. And then I'm just putting it um, on the center of my page or paper. Like that. Hold it down. Give the, the ink chance to sink into the paper just like that and then I'm going to grab my crumb cake and my sponge and then I'm going to ink around these edges as well and then we'll be ready to put this lovely card all together okay we do have one more piece and that is um, the sentiment on the front and for that I'm using the first sight I'm using this, um, this stamp here. It says, I have loved you, mother, since I opened my eyes. But we're only using the, the part um, that says mother, comma. And that's what we're going to use. And in order to ink that up, I do have the Blushing Bride um, marker. But when I tried it, um, because I'm going to heat emboss it with some clear um, embossing powder, I didn't like um, the way that it looked, or maybe I was just doing it wrong, but um, the ink was not um, intense enough for me. So, anyways, I'm going to use a Q-tip and the actual um, Blushing Bright ink pad. And I'm going to um, take my Q-tip and put some ink on it, and then I'm just going to... Um, tap on the, the letters that spell out mother. So I'm applying color to the word mother and the, the little comma because I want the comma too. Okay. So being very careful not to get ink on the other words. Okay. Um, I'm looking around because I need to make sure that I have my um, all my stuff ready for embossing because this isn't um, the Versamark that stays wet um, and I want to make sure that I move fast okay so I'm going to take my scratch paper and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of eyeball push this down like that I did not use my anti-static 
um, bag, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. So we'll see. No, it looks fine. Um, I have a little brush. Where's my brush? There it is. So I have a little bit brush that I can brush off um, where it's sticking and I don't want it to so okay all right that looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and get my heat tool let me close this up so I don't spill it everywhere okay my heat tool alrighty so I don't need um this much cardstock around the word mother so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it okay so there's my sentiment for the front of my card I'm gonna go ahead and sponge around the edges of this alrighty then I think we are ready so let me go ahead and grab my card base Um, have my crumb cake here so let me do that alrighty so for some assembly okay my linen thread I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it like one two three four okay How's that for accurate measurement? <laughs> so, um, four of those. Cut that. Alrighty. And then I'm going to start with um, my second layer that's going to be on top of my card. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my snail. Okay, and I'm looking, what I'm doing is looking at my piece and, um, do I want it to be this way when I'm looking at the card or do I want it to be this way? I'm thinking this way. So I'm going to go ahead and this is going to wrap around closer to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put some snail um, along the side here and put some on the middle. So then I will start... Um, like so we're gonna go around one and we're gonna space it out a little bit just to scotch just like that two okay three and then there's my four okay and I miscalculated, so maybe I should have measured, because um, I do need a piece to tie. Um, and somebody could probably tie a bow with that little um, of the, the string, but um, that somebody's not me, that's for sure. So I need more than that. So, okay. So there's that. So the next thing that we want to do is um, grab some more linen thread because I didn't grab enough. Um, okay. What we're going to do is over on this side, I'm going to work my way underneath here like so. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie like that. And then I'm going to tie a bow. I'm not a good bow tire. Um, sometimes they come out and sometimes they don't. I have just learned to love my bows no matter what. So I'm um, good with that. Um, so you have been warned. This may be pretty or not. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this layer onto this layer. So I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to put some snail. Okay. There we go. Then we're going to turn this around. Get some more adhesive on there. And we'll put it onto the front of our card base. Just like so. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
Put the inside. Okay. Yep, looks fine. So now back to the front. I have the little flower here that I made. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and use my glossy accent. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. Okay. And then I'm going to set that right on my bowl. Okay. And then that will dry like so. And then for my sentiment that says mother, a little bit of snail. And then we're going to tuck that a little bit underneath there, just like so. And there you have it. Super duper easy and super duper elegant. And just like that, you have this lovely card for Mother's Day. Or switch up the sentiment and you can use this for just about any occasion. So make sure you jot down the supply list down below and then head on over to my website at withhisgifts.com and order your supplies today so you can make these lovely cards at home. Also, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Go ahead and visit me on my website at withhisgifts.com. Check out what I'm all about and hit me up with any questions that you have. And if you've been thinking about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, I would love for you to join my Creatively His team. You can find information on my website about that as well. And now is the time to do it if you are thinking about it because with your starter kit, you can order from the upcoming brand new catalog that goes live on June 1st. Um, yeah, so it's a great time to do it. So go ahead, visit my website with hisgifts.com and check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you and have a great day.